I wish they were all this good. Welcome to Matt's Profit Pursuit. I'm Matt. I'm a part-time reseller who sells on eBay. And I make what sold videos so you see what's selling right now on eBay. And I break down each sale so you see exactly how much is made after fees, cost of goods, shipping, and taxes are taken out. That way you get a realistic look of what it's like to sell online. I got 17 orders, but only 16 I'm going to pack up today because I can't find one of them. However, today as I record this, it is Thanksgiving, so I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. By the time you see this, it'll be the week after. And because of that, I added an extra day to my handling time, so the item I'm missing doesn't have to go out until the next Tuesday. So I should have time to find it over the weekend. A lot of bread and butter items like I always sell, and one really good sale that I wish was my standard. Let's see what sold. First is a squished mallow. I picked it up because it was new with tags. These don't go for a whole lot. Um, and I, this was a smaller one, so it's, I mean, they're not, none of them are really hard to ship. But it's easier to deal with. It doesn't take up as much space in my flush bin. Now that Q4 is officially upon us, um, items with tags are going to sell more. People are looking for Christmas presents. And I think now is Q4 because Thanksgiving's done. Like, a lot of people are like waiting for the okay thanksgiving's done now oh crap christmas right let's let's get going so I th i'm hoping we'll see an uptick i paid 65 cents for this plush and it sold for 9.89 plus shipping the buyer is all in at 15 dollars and 95 cents and after fees and shipping i get seven dollars and 19 cents but items with tag aren't the only thing that sell if you want a vintage toy where else are you going to get it but ebay i sold this gi joe even though it's in pieces. I only paid seven cents for this figure and it sold for $10.75 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $17.04 and after fees and shipping, I get $8.11. Sold this regular denim pearl snap. I paid $1.75 for this shirt and it sold for $11 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $20.13, and after fees and shipping, I get $9.16. Sold this USA Nike beanie. I paid $0.30 cents for this beanie, and it sold for $11.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $18.53, and after fees and shipping, I get $10.52. Sold this pair of rabbit running shorts, even though it is coming into winter. I paid 40 cents for these shorts and they sold for $12 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $18.93 and after fees and shipping I get $10.17. Sold this Herschel fanny pack. I believe Herschel is like a streetwear or skateboard brand type of company. I'm not 100% sure but I've sold uh, some of the backpacks. I've sold a couple fanny packs from them now and a few hats. I paid 75 cents for this fanny pack and it sold for $14 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $21.28, and after fees and shipping, I get $10.81. Sold this pair of gray low top chucks. High top chucks will sell better than low tops, but they all sell pretty good for me. I paid $2.20 for these, and they sold for $14 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $22.55, and after fees and shipping, I get $9.14. Sold this pair of Levi's 513s 30 by 32. I paid two dollars for these jeans and they sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. The buyer is all in at twenty four dollars and ninety eight cents. And after fees and shipping, I get ten dollars and forty one cents. Sold this pair of Lucky Brand pants. These are the one twenty one Heritage Slims in a size. What size is it? 34 by 32. I paid $1.85 for these jeans and they sold for $15.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $26.77. And after fees and shipping, I get $13.18. Sold this cool shirt, long sleeve quarter zip. I paid $1.30 for this shirt and it sold for $18 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $25.20 and after fees and shipping I get $14.02. Which I thought would go for more money but I'll take it. This is a decent brand as far as flannels go, the iron and resin. Some of their flannels would do pretty good. I paid $1.45 for this flannel and it sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $28.40 and after fees and shipping 
I get $17.99. And I've actually sold one of their sweatshirts in the past for 30 bucks. So again, officially Christmas season now, even though my wife started decorating and she put up a Christmas tree and crap right after Halloween. But Christmas items are going to start selling more. I paid 75 cents for this guy and it sold for $21.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $35.24. And after fees and shipping, I get $17.67. And I ship items like this without the batteries. This is my first time finding this brand. It's Fit Flop. These are a pair of like Mary Jane style shoes. I paid $1.30 for these and they sold international for $20.50 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $27.05. And I undercharged for shipping, but that's fine because after fees and shipping, I still got $12.73. One thing a lot of people pass on at my bins at least are cycling shoes. I always pick these up and they seem to do well. These are Gyro brand cycling shoes. I paid $2.85 for these and they sold for $25 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $41.28. And if you see, I actually overcharged on shipping on this one, so they all even out. After fees and shipping, I get $23.07. Picked up this Harley like jumper, women's jumper suit thing the other day. It sold within a few days of me listing it. I paid $2.70 for this and it sold for $30 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $38.25 and after fees and shipping, I get $25.63. In my big sale, which is one of the best I've had in a while, are these pair of Danner, uh, I believe they're mountaineering boots. This style of boot in general is pretty good no matter what the brand is. Um, Danner is obviously a well-known brand and these are a size 14 so they're a big size they're probably pretty hard to come by and this is another item a lot of people seem to shy away from are heavy boots I paid seven dollars for these I had them listed at 300 just to fill out the market but I took an offer of two hundred and ten dollars plus shipping the buyer is all in at two hundred and thirty five dollars and forty five cents and after fees and shipping, I get $183.02. Now let's break down the sales. So for those items, I have a total of $596.76 in sales. After fees, I have $391.58, minus the cost of goods, which was $27.32. And that gives me $364.26. Take 25% for taxes, which is $91.06. Then I'm left with $273.20. Invest 20% back into the business, which is $54.64. And that puts $218.56 in my pocket. There's about five and a half hours worth of work for these items. So that gives me an hourly rate of $39.73. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos where I break down each sale. And like I said, it's Thursday, so I gotta finish watching the Reseller Locker Room Podcast. Catch you on the next one. God bless. Peace.